I'm Lara Ellis from UEA TV and second year art history student at UEA. Welcome to Sainsbury Institute for Art Presents Movement in Modernism. How are you finding the night so far? Are you enjoying it? I am enjoying it a great deal. I'm absolutely delighted to see so many people here. I can see lots of people bidding for the various arts and I'm just about to do the same once I've had a good look around. I think it's a fantastic collection to have got together and I can see these ladies and gentlemen waiting for all the bids and they're gradually getting more and more so it'll be interesting to see uh, who wins. Um, I very much enjoyed the dance, I thought that was fabulous. I enjoyed um, meeting people also from art because I'm from Film, Television and Media Studies and from next year we will be joined in one big school so it's very exciting to see um, you know, the synergies that we have between film, television and media and um, art so I think it's very exciting. That's good. Um, have you had a chance to look at any of the auctions tonight? Yes, we had a milling round, um, particularly postcards. I like the one with the bear a lot, so I might be bidding for that later. So how are you enjoying the evening so far? Very much, very impressed. Full of life. And I love it being organised by the students. I think it's um, you know, the authentic thing. What's your favourite part about the nights, do you think? Well, I, I, I'm particularly attracted by some of the things that are on, on offer. Um, the variety of them, how close they are to art, but they extend far beyond. Um, and I haven't finished going round. I'm here with Ben Giles, artist in residence. Um, how does it feel to be here tonight and be doing this? Yeah, it's incredible. It's like an amazing opportunity and it's really unexpected. Um, it's great. It's like really good like comments and stuff. Like, yeah, I'm just surprised to be here. And it's really cool. It's a really cool experience. And um, it's really busy. It's like a big event. At the moment, like, I'm going through like a bit of a MC Escher kind of print, print base sort of work. Um, and I think I'm mostly just trying to give like the photographs I've got like a movement, so it's not like a still image anymore. It's kind of living rather than just captured. How does it feel to be exhibiting your work today? Yeah, it's really nice. A lot of people here just get to see it, so that's good. And it's on the top as well, which I'm rather pleased about, so you can see it from a distance. Yeah. Um, can you explain the inspiration behind why you chose this piece? Um, well, it's kind of... Um, I, I work on those sim similar kind of images, pixelated images, um, and uh, that was just inspired by the colours outside of my studio on a sort of cold winter's day, basically. But yeah, it's kind of a continuation of a running theme that I work on. Sounds amazing. Have you been enjoying the evening so far? Yeah, it's been good. The dancing's been very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, very nice evening. Yeah, and they got cheese as well, which is good. How does it feel to be exhibiting your work in the Sainsbury Centre? I was really pleased to be invited to put a piece of work into a centre, and it's a, in a very good cause. And what have been the challenges about um, exhibiting your work in postcard form and creating it for a postcard? It's always a challenge to reduce your work to, to a certain size and also to produce a piece of work that might fit in with the theme or genre of the evening. And I think this is quite a challenge. Um, can you tell me a bit about what the evening's in aid of? Yeah, so uh, we set up a fund last year called the Emma Jonathan Fund, which is in aid of student travel. So if our undergraduates want to go and do some research for their dissertation or they need to go and see a particular exhibition or something to do with art history which involves you know, quite a lot of travel because art works are all over the world or archaeology or anthropology. The fund is to help them do that because fees are very high now and our kids need to do this travel and they haven't really got the money spare to do that as well. So that's what the fund is for and um, the event is to raise money for the fund but it's also to help the students to really kind of hone their employability skills and um, to learn what it means to put on a fantastic event. The whole thing's been an amazing experience for all of us doing it. Um, it's really exciting to see the whole thing come together so all these different things that we've been working on for months and months kind of you know it's lovely to see people kind of commenting on them and complimenting us on them so we're very proud. <laughs> we've done an amazing job. It's fantastic evening. Um, what's been the most beneficial part of this whole experience for you, do you think? What skills have you learned from doing um, It's been a constant kind of learning process for all of us, so 
I've actually learned to manage a whole team of people, which I was never confident in doing before. Um, I've really enjoyed doing the marketing of the whole event. We did the whole uh, exciting Bauhaus logo, things like that. Um, events management, I mean, that's the real key thing, is that we've learned so much about putting an event together, and hopefully it's going to pay off tonight. What have you been doing tonight so far? The head of the catering department. So I've been um, organising all the food. We had to chop up loads of fruits and organise it and get everything out on time. And everybody, there's so many people, it's been difficult to keep drinks circulating and keep everybody happy and make sure everybody has drinks. But we managed to do it and I have, I have a really good team. So making sure everybody's in control and knows what they're doing. And what has your experience with the doing the arts award taught you? Um, it's really taught me how to manage everything and how to take control of a team. I've been on meet and greet, so I've been saying hello to everyone and directing them to the event. <laughs> yeah, it's been fantastic. I've learned um, management skills and you know how to like organise people, and I've definitely gained a lot of confidence out of it as well. How successful do you think the event's been tonight? Um, it's been brilliant. It's been really good. Everyone seems to enjoy it themselves. Loads of people have turned up, so yeah, it's been good.